Hello everyone, uh, good afternoon, maybe good evening and uh, probably good morning uh, to all the people joining uh, this uh, live uh, webinar. Um, my name is uh, Ahmed Al Shammari. I'm the um, Pipes and Product Champion in uh, Schlumberger. Let's open the Q&A. Okay, so, <clears throat> question. Does PipeSim perform surge analysis? No, uh, because PipeSim is a steady state simulator. In J we have uh, Olga, which is a, the transient flow simulator that can be used for surge. And, uh, you know, normally for surge analysis, if it's a steady state, if it's, sorry, if it's a single phase, then there are specialized software for single phase, uh, mainly um, uh, Olga and, 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 and PipeSim are, are multi-phase flow simulators. So, uh, Olga for, for surge analysis, uh, uh, you know, Olga can do much more than, than surge analysis because it's a dynamic, uh, you know, phenomena. And uh, Olga can be used for, uh, you know, um, not only surge, but slugging, uh, startup, cleanup processes, and so on. Okay. Uh, in gas lift simulation, how can I simulate the Nova Orifice performance? So um, if you have a, a, a you know a special uh, orifice or, or valve, you can simply add it to PipeSim by the catalog. Uh, PipeSim enables you to uh, to add your own uh, valve or orifice if you want by, of course, entering the um, the, the the specific properties required uh, by by the catalog. Um, how can I design uh, open hole completion with uh, uncemented liner? So this is. Possible. Let me just uh, let me share share again. <clears throat> so for uh, for modeling, yeah, for modeling horizontal well, let's say if I go to let me just open uh, case studies again. Sorry, <clears throat> case studies and then well models. So we'll find that for example there are horizontal uh, multi layer producer here. Okay. So if you open that, as you can see here, this is a horizontal well, okay? And we can have a liner or we can have an open hole. So this is how you put the open, open hole. <coughs> but the location of the completion is defined here, okay? Each of the completion you can use. And then depending on <coughs> if it's horizontal model, you can you can use whatever horizontal IPR you want to model the inflow from these completions. Okay. So I hope this, this answers your, your, your question. Um, again, so <coughs> more, one more question. Um, how can well okay. Um, for liquid produced water. Pipe simulation, the best flow correlation is Moody anyway. The Moody correlation is not available in vertical and horizontal pipes. No, Moody, Moody is 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 uh, is available, but this is for the for the uh, friction factor of single phase. As you can see, it's a single phase correlation. Here it is. Okay, so um, because because um, Moody is mainly for single phase and. For single phase, it doesn't really matter whether you're using vertical or horizontal, okay? The the two-phase flow uh, will change the behavior between the angle. But for single phase, it's, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter. And that's why we have we have all these for single phase, phase correlations. So whenever whenever the system is single phase, okay, it will switch to, to, uh, to, to, this, to, to these correlations, like Moody, for example, okay? So uh, these are for the for the two phase flow correlations. I hope this answers your your, your question. <clears throat> what do you mean by, by block reverse? So in, in in network simulation, in network simulation, suppose that, that I have um, I have a network like, for example, um, this network here. Okay. Sometimes the uh based on the pressure 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 conditions in the surface the flow can go back 
can can you have a reverse flow to the well if you don't put a check valve, right? So that's why we when we when we uh, model the well, we say that check valve setting is block reverse. That means do not allow the production to come back to this well if the pressure here was higher. So this is to just avoid that you are you are re-injecting to one of the wells. Okay. I hope this is clear. <clears throat> Please compare between Pipesim and Kaiser software. <laughs> I cannot. I mean, that's not, I'd, I'd, li I'd, love, I'd like really not to uh, to uh, compare um, our software with with any other uh, competitor because it's unfair for for them. And uh, you know, uh, I'm 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 ignorant in in other other, other stuff. Like for example, I mean, I know a little, bit, little bit what what Caesar can do, but. Um, I, I don't think uh, it's right that I compare. Uh, the, this is this is not my uh, intention. My intention is to show you the capabilities that Pipesim has today. Um, can we add various fluid packages? Add various fluid packages? No. As of now, we have multi-flash symmetry, and you can uh, create a PVT file by any other PVT package like PVT sim. HiSys, whatever, if, if you can produce it at, as .pvt, you can import the PVT file into Pipesim. Your presentation you have mentioned about corrosion study. Can we do CO2 and H2S corrosion analysis? What are all the correlations available? So as I said, we do have the word model as default, and we have a new correlation model or a corrosion model called TPA, standing for Trusted Pipeline Advisor. So both these two, so Trusted Pipeline Advisor is based on the word, but it actually takes into account various uh, additional parameters that will adjust the corrosion rate. Um, uh, H2S corrosion is, is a different corrosion methodology. It's called pitting, and, and, uh, and uh, both these two, two corrosion models do not... Uh, uh, you know, uh, calculate H2S corrosion, but it takes in, into consideration the H2S in, in calculating the pH, which will be translated into into uh, the, a different corrosion rate. Okay. Um, how can we reduce the water production that is coming with oil? Well, that's a, that's a mechanical. It's a mechanical process that uh, they they call it water shutoff. So so. You you need to know where is your your, your water water uh, zone, and then you'd like to uh, you know uh, you know try to avoid producing. Sometimes we put patch, or we 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 close the perforation in front of the uh, water zone, or and and sometimes you know once once if if it's a horizontal well, once the water uh, the water zone approached, there is little that you can do. So unless you block the whole the whole lateral. And I don't think this is uh, the objective of this uh, this uh, this webinar today. Sorry. Um, what is the theoretical concept behind burial pipe modeling uh, in heat transfer modeling within pipe sim? So the burial depth will 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 be used to calculate the heat transfer. Okay, of uh, you know to, it will add to the heat transfer calculation with the with the with the with the surrounding. So if it's, for example, um, uh, um, uh, an on onshore uh, pipeline, then the burial depth will be used in calculating the heat transfer in addition to the coatings. So it's just another, another layer to, 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 um, uh, to basically reduce the heat transfer between the fluid and the surrounding. Okay. Does pipe simple form CFD analysis? No, CFD is is micro uh, fluid calculation, and pipe sim is considered macro. So uh, CFD goes into the details of the millimeters and centimeters of the fittings and the the pipe, whereas whereas pipe sim looks into the overall diameter and it will use correlations to calculate uh, and flow models to calculate the pressure drop, the holdup, etc. Black oil versus composition model, what are major differences? So the major differences is that uh, black oil uses correlations and correlations are uh, based on curve fitting of field PVT test data. Uh, you can fine tune a, a black, oil, black oil model. Black oil is faster, it's cheaper. Uh, 
But compositional fluid modeling uh, uh, is recommended if you have gas, uh, if you have gas systems, and and uh, it, it normally uh, produce more accurate uh, PVT calculations. If you want to look into, for example, the phase diagram and, and, and where is your <coughs> your production operating conditions with respect to, with, the, with respect to the phase diagram. How can we access the software package? If you are a student, uh, maybe your university have a uh, copy. And if if you're if you're not a student and you're a professional in in a company, then basically your company need, needs to purchase the software. Unfortunately, it's not available for free. Uh, can we check the choke flow correlation condition in pipelines, specifically when the gas is having condensate or black powder? Um, so check the choke flow condition in pipeline. Um, not sure I understand your question, but um, we have we have uh, a comprehensive list of uh, uh, check uh, choke flow correlations. So um, whether you have uh, uh, powder or not, it doesn't really affect uh, the choke calculation because it becomes a, an erosion calculation uh, of the fittings. Uh, and uh, uh, probably you can use the API calculation for, 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 the, uh, for the erosion calculation, but um, uh, not specifically uh, how this will affect the, the, the choke uh, calculation itself. Um, if the input is just water, could we use pipes? Could you use pipes in calculation? If the input is just water, could you use pipes? Pipe sim? Yeah, of course. Of course, pipe sim works for, for water systems as well. Yes. Can pipe sim be used for mine ventil ventilation circuit you de designing in underground mines? Well, it depends on. <coughs> It depends on the fluid that you'd like to uh, to model. If the, if the fluid is, uh, for example, CO2 or, or, or I don't know about my, my ventilation, but um, depending on the, the fluid, if you, can, if, you, if you want to use, I don't know, which kind of, which kind, which kind of gas. But theoretically, yes, of course. I mean, uh, you describe the, 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 the fluid, whether, whether it's air, whether it's in, in oxygen, whether it's CO2, and then you put the, your, your pipeline details for the ventilated, ventilation system, and then, and then it should work. Uh, I guess that's it. We are uh, five minutes after our deadline. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for uh, joining me uh, this day for three hours now. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I'd like to uh, thank uh, Alchemia for their uh, initiative and preparing this uh, this workshop uh, and uh, i believe that this uh, <coughs> this webinar is going to be live on youtube afterwards uh, so you can watch that later on um, if you missed anything thank you all